Ladies and gentlemen, horses are on the track and prating to the post this evening's first dress, the first half of the Daily Double. Maiden claiming fillies and mares, racing one mile. Number one is 12 sharp. Number Martin Fisher of Millersburg, Ohio. Charles Little trains and drives. Number two in due time, Fran, owned by Ralph Sexton of Hamilton. Ralph Sexton trains. Driver's change is to Terry Groves. Terry Groves. Three is Shady Romance, owned by Ron Jackson of Powell and Tamla Boslow of Delaware. Tammy Boslow trains. Arnold Johnston up. The four is April Spur, owned by Lloyd Voyles of Monroe, Michigan. Todd Christie trains with Eric Lundford. Five, Lady Monroe, owned by John and uh, Stephen Weber of Woodsfield. Cherry Holton trains and drives. The uh, six, Little Miss Rhubarb, owned by Mike Albright of Greenville. Michael Albright trains. Dave Miller drives. The seven, Miso, owned by Congrove of Kingston and Clemens of Chillicothe. Cecil Clemens trains. Tom Clemens driving. The eight, Robin KQ, owned by Alan Quinn of Deland, Florida. Jeff Fout trains and drives. And the nine, Bayside Inn, owned by Sturgill Loman of Bainbridge. Hugh Beatty Jr. trains and drives. Wouldn't play show perfecta trifecta. First race, pacing fillies and mares, all in behind the gate. They're on the back stretch. There they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Little Miss Rhubarb, first for the lead, alongside the gray Mizo. From the outside and third, it's Bayside N. Towards the inside fourth came Shady Romance, Robin KQ, looking for early position fifth. Off the rail in sixth is 12 sharp, two lengths in seventh in due time, Fran. Three lengths eighth is April Spur, the early trailer ninth, Lady Monroe, as they round the first turn on the front. With the lead, it's the 35 to one shot Mizo, who sets the pace here, but Robin KQ with the outside and the hunt early. She now takes the lead, the opening quarter 28 and three, and Robin KQ surging to the front here. Mizo giving it up for cover in second. Then comes Little Miss Rhubarb, three lengths for the back in third. Another three lengths in fourth, it's Shady Romance, followed five by Bayside and two lengths in six to 12 sharp. Another two lengths seventh in due time friend. And the Phillies are now in straight alignment here as he races out of the clubhouse turn. It's Robin KQ with a lead, a length and a half over Mizo. Little Miss Rhubarb is now tightening up nicely on the inside and third, the half and 59 and two. Swinging to the back stretch and on the front, Robin KQ dictating the tempo here, has slowed it down a bit now to the outside. Little Miss Rhubarb will move up to pressure the pace. Mizo in the pocket is racing in third and Shady Romance to the outside takes live cover fourth. 12 sharp is forced three wide of the outside of the field has tightened up here as they race into the final turn. Robin KQ with the inside and Little Miss Rhubarb alongside these two matching strides as they reach the three quarters together in 130 and three. They round the final turn and Robin KQ now by three parts of a length, but Little Miss Rhubarb is still there, a pesky second. Shady Romance within striking distance and Bay side end closing nicely with less than a sixteenth ago. And it's Robin KQ. Little Miss Rhubarb is still there and still strong. And now she's the leader. Little Miss Rhubarb gets up to an inch here by two, Robin KQ second, Shady Romance third. And trackside is the winner, number six, Little Miss Rhubarb, a three-old Kentucky bred daughter of Rotini from the Panorama Mare, Spanish Eyes. Oh, by Michael Albright of Greenville, Ohio. Mike Albright trains. Dave Miller is in the sulky. Little Ms. Rhubarb coming in from the Ohio County Fair Circuit, recording her fourth of her young career, four wins and six starts, and now with a lifetime best of 159.